Now we get to talk to our friends, Bart and Brian Avery over at Bravery Brewing. And uh, God, it's great to see your faces. It's been too long, guys. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. Sorry. It's been too long. It's been too long. Uh, well, how have you guys been doing? I know that we were obviously, uh, we did one of our sort of uh, weekend cocktail hours where I spent the time on that back patio that you guys have there. But uh, that was the first weekend that you were going to be able to open up. And then the county and their all of their great wisdom decided to shut you down once again. Where do we stand right now? We're hanging in there. Um, we're very fortunate that we've cultivated a huge support system in our local community. Um, so we got tons of familiar faces coming in every week, buying to-go beer, um, just helping out however they can. Um, a lot of our great local accounts are still buying a lot of our beer. Um, you know, but that's just been eight years of cultivating that relationship with our local community. And um, so we're hanging in there. Um, but we actually have some pretty crazy news as far as what's going on over here, um, which I guess I'll just jump into that. We're actually building out a pizza kitchen Ooh. here at the brewery. Excellent. Oh, I, I, listen, there's no greater smell than pizza being cooked while you're drinking yes. a beer. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I agree. And you, you guys are actually the first people to officially know this news. Um, so you should feel honored. We do. Oh, this wow. is great. <laughs> Breaking news on this show. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's going to that's gonna do a handful of things for us. Um, if we end up beating the clock, meaning we open our kitchen before the, the mandates are uh, loosened on us, then that will allow us with our kitchen to use our outdoor seating. Um, and then another cool thing, too, is now that we have a bona fide kitchen on site, we'll be able to offer wine and cider to our customers as well as our awesome beer. I may so, never leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's really exciting. It's not something we ever thought we would do, especially not, you know, this, this soon. Um, but 2020 has been a crazy year for everyone. And um, some of the silver lining is it's, it's made us really kind of refocus our efforts and focus on efficiencies and kind of just what we're doing um, here in the brewery and throughout the community. What's the timetable on the pizza kitchen? We're, sh we're shooting for early November. Wow, that. that's quick. Great. Right. Well, we started this idea about three months ago, and ironically, guess who we have to deal with? It's kind of the ones that are taken all the time. That would be L.A. County. <laughs> um, the health department, they're, they're doing their best, but, but uh, it's, it's taken about six weeks to get the plans kind of approved. They're still not approved yet, so hopefully we can start building in about next week sometime. And then just full blast in a, in a month or so, we should have it open. You know, Petros through. and Money went to Morongo uh, this week and they did their broadcast from there. Uh -huh. I don't see why we couldn't do a broadcast as like a grand opening, socially distant or whatever, at your pizza kitchen. Like, wouldn't that be great? That'd be awesome. Let's make that happen. You know, they'll probably give you free pizza if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> that's it's, not what I'm saying. I know saying. exactly what you're saying. So, uh, <laughs> Brian, we've talked with you many times about the the process of, of coming up with the different beers and the varieties that you guys have. When it comes to Oktoberfest, when it comes to German, uh, Austrian-inspired beers, is there a whole different uh, formula for that? One of the big kind of pillars of those types of beers is um, just really clean, classic-style brewing. And um, there's not a whole lot to hide behind with these kind of cleaner loggers. Um, you know, our, our friends at Ennegrin, which I know you guys are talking to on this show, they've made a whole business model around those types of beers. And you don't have the hops or, you know, the roasted malt or any of the kind of like added flavors to beers to hide behind. So it really kind of shows your brewing prowess when you're making these um, German style ales and lagers. And as a brewer, it's always a fun challenge. Um, and when you when you pull it off, you end up with an incredible beer that's just full of nuance and these like clean, bright flavors. Um, so I always look forward to this time of year where we got to kind of like flex our brewing muscles and uh, kind of show what we can do in the brew house. Well, uh, what can people expect when they come to sh uh, to pick up their to go beers this weekend? Uh, are you guys going to give them any special deal because you guys are on the news and brews this time? Yeah, as a uh, as a big thank you to all the listeners that come out and mention the Gary and Shannon show, we're actually going to give fifty percent off all to go beers uh, wow. when when you mention Gary and Shannon when you're checking out. That's and awesome. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
That's great, guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the big news. I'm so stoked for you and, and for us too. And we should <laughs> <laughs> we should put together something for sure. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for having us on. Cheers. Cheers.